Idol Country patrons, welcome to our felt floral wreath take and make program. Hopefully you've had a chance to pick up your take and make bag. I'm going to walk you through this project today. My name is Amber Gagliardi and I'm a librarian here at the Middle Country Public Library and I'm happy to bring you this project. If you're like me, you're enjoying the nice warmer weather and you're probably starting to think about new decor you could add. They'll bring spring to your house. So I hope this wreath is perfect for your home. So you can see the final project right here before we get started. And you can see I have an arrangement of flowers and it has a little handle and it's perfect to hang on the door or a wall or wherever it will fit in your house. So let's get started. So let's take a look at what was in your bag. So everybody should have got a floral or a wreath right here. It's a rustic feel to it. And then in this brown bag here, you'll find all your felt cutouts, your Velcro, and your um, leaves, and your strip to make your hanger. So everybody got different color cutouts for the flowers. So they look like this, they look strange, but don't worry, they're gonna turn into these beautiful little mini flowers. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do those. So everybody got four different colors and you got two of each color. There's an assortment of purples, pinks, and yellow. So everyone got something different, but you can pick and choose what you like and uh, arrange them however you feel would go nicely in your house. You also got 10 of these green leaves and you got this brown strip of felt that's gonna make your hanger. And you got a small piece of Velcro. This is um, adhesive on this side and it breaks apart and we're gonna add it to this strip to make this little hanger. Now on your own, you'll need a glue gun. So go ahead and plug that in. You'll need some extra glue sticks if, you, um, if this is almost out on you. And a craft stick would be helpful just to kind of avoid your fingers with the glue so you don't get burnt. So once you have that all set up, you're gonna go ahead and um, choose one color to start with. I'm gonna start with this yellow. And you're gonna roll it up to make a flower. So let me show you how that's done. You're gonna start with the end here and you're gonna fold it over and you're gonna just roll it. And we're gonna go through this a couple times. So you can just start to roll it, and this side is gonna make your inside of your flower. Now what you can do is periodically throughout the project, just go ahead and add a dab of hot glue. This will just give it some extra um, support and prevent your flower from moving. So you can do that like every four or five rolls. Just be careful not to burn your finger. It's okay if you get some extra glue. Hot glue is wonderful because it can be easily picked off after. So just keep rolling and do your best to keep a flat bottom. That's really the key. Just hold it like this so you guys can see this angle and you can really start to see it come together. When you first looked at these um, from your take and make bag, you're probably wondering how am I gonna turn these into flowers, but it does work. Okay. 
okay is you start to kind of come to the end you can kind of almost feel like it's gonna fall apart but just keep with it and just hold it tight with all your fingers so you can see here there's a full circle at the end. That's gonna be your bottom. So here, you wanna hold it and you wanna put a generous amount of glue. This is where your craft stick could really come in place. Go ahead and spread that out and then use it to kinda put this over. That will prevent your fingers from getting burnt. Give it a second to dry and cool down. And then you can kind of flip it like this. You can see how nice that looks. So if you want, you can take your glue gun and kind of just, you know, maybe on this edge, just put a dab, then use your craft stick to kind of hold it in and that just gives it a little extra support. But you're gonna glue these to your wreath so you can also do it as you're gluing it and make sure it's really secure. Now, if you're not a fan of hot glue or just don't wanna get your fingers burnt, you could always use some fabric glue and go ahead and put it in. Uh, I would just make sure it's clear because you really don't want your glue to show through. So, there you have it. Um, now, uh, you do have to roll eight of these, so I'm going to show you another one. I'm going to choose this pretty purple. Again, you just start from the end. And here it is. Now you can see this one, I rolled a little bit looser. That makes it just be, of course, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So if you like that look, that works. And then this one, I did a little bit tighter just to see that you can have two different looks there. So whatever you prefer, or you can do them all a little different and they all look great. Okay, now you're gonna go ahead and roll the other 
six after you did the first two for a total of eight. Now you can see here on my wreath, I decided to only do seven. So that's up to you. Or if you like five or four, you can do how many you would like. Let me give you some ideas on how to arrange these on your wreath. So I think that these two colors look nice together. So I'm going to put them together. And then I'm going to put this lighter color. I'm going to put this on this side and then this one here. So this one you can see I did all of them pointing down. I'm going to show you one to the side to give you a sense of how that could look. So again, you're just going to take your glue, put a, as much as you can on here without getting burnt, and then you're going to go ahead and just stick it on your wreath right here. And again, you can arrange it however you would like. Um, next, I'm going to take this purple. Put a bunch on here. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some leaves. So you can, I'm just going to go ahead and stick one right under there before it dries. You could also go ahead and put it on the bottom and then stick it on. So let me actually put two on this one. That looks nice. You can see here, I have two. Stick it on. I'm gonna put another purple one over here. Let me go ahead and put another leaf so it hangs off the edge. Okay, I'm putting another leaf on, and I'm kind of going to point it up. I like when the leaves are on the outside. I think they would look a little strange if you put them over here. Okay. Now you can see how it looks with the five. That looks pretty. Now the thought of this one is to kind of hang it like this. So you just have something to the side. So where this one, I think it looks nice like this. So the more you put on, um, you could decide what orientation you want it. Okay. So let me show you how to do the hanger. So you got a strip of brown. And as mentioned before, the Velcro is adhesive on both sides. So you'll want to stick it on like this. Then you could take the other piece off. And then stick it on. And then you pull this apart. So it looks like this. And what you can do is easily remove this on or off as you 
maybe just put it out for spring or want to move it around. And then if you have a little wreath hook, you can stick it on or even just find a hook in your house to hang it on. Okay, now if you have extra pieces that are sticking out, you can cut them. So this came on the wreath. It's just like, it looks like a piece of hemp. So I just kind of want to remove that. And I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue, use my craft stick, stick it in, you know, just straighten it out. So that doesn't stick. And then if you have any sticks that are kind of just sticking out in an odd way, you can trim those up. But here you have it another wreath. So um, again, um, you have a lot of uh, freedom here to choose the arrangement of the colors. There's no wrong or right way of doing it. It's really your preference. If you got a color you don't like, then you don't have to use it. So you have eight different flowers, but you can really choose the ones you like. So remember that. So don't be disappointed if you got a color you really don't care for. You can certainly switch it up. And then you could always use it for something else. So if you have a sign, these are really cute just to add to signs or whatever. Or you can go ahead and use all eight and see how that looks. Now a couple ideas, um, you could always add like a little embellishment on the top of this felt piece. Um, you could add like moss or something that you could pick up at a craft store. You could add like a little wooden piece to say, um, to you know, say happy ho like a holiday or happy spring or summer. So you can get creative with this and I would love to see anything that you come up with that's a little bit different. You could email me your pictures at gagliardiamber at mcplibrary.org. Uh, we also encourage you to post on social media. The library has an Instagram page. We have a Facebook page and we'd be happy to post for you or you can go ahead and tag us. Um, we're also using the hashtag MCPL at home. So if you did this project at home and want to share it with everybody else in the community, we would love for you to do that and um, post that on Instagram or Facebook using that hashtag. Um, if you want to put a comment in the um, in the comments below here on the page you can do that ask me questions I'll check in and you could also just let me know if you did the project and you like it thank you so much for joining me today have a great day